What's up guys? Back with another video today of about something that's really important to me. Um, a little background. I have worked in fire service for the last five years or so and uh, I inspect fire extinguishers and those also test uh, backflow devices. The backflow devices is something else I can maybe talk about later. It has to do with uh, protecting the water source for your residences and your buildings. But through my job there's been an awful lot of uh, things that I've learned and one of those things is most people have no idea how to understand a fire extinguisher or even how to use one. So I'm probably not going to go into how to use one. I can put a link in my description about how to properly use a fire extinguisher, but I can give you a little bit of advice. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I've seen in a ton of pictures online, uh, guys that are preppers or if you off road a lot, or if you have a bug out vehicle or things like that, um, a lot of guys have a fire extinguisher in their vehicle. So my purpose of this video is to give you some fire extinguisher basics, mostly how to understand uh, how new they are and whether or not they are in good condition as far as regulations go. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but uh, give you a few of the basics so, so that you understand some stuff. And then one of the videos I'm gonna do in the future is how my experience with fire service has taught me a lot about apartments and renting apartments. It doesn't have a whole lot to do with gear, but I think it's awesome information that I would love to share. So watch for that video in the future. And I'll explain a little bit more about what working every single day at apartment complexes, working on fire extinguishers and inspecting them has uh, taught me. So the first thing and most important probably is there are different classifications of fire extinguishers. Uh, you've got all kinds of different versions for different uses. If you are a business or something, you may have very specific fire extinguishers that are used for electrical fires only, or you have ones that are for really hot liquids. Um, but the ones that most people are going to be concerned with, the ones that you're going to go and buy at Home Depot or pick up, are going to be your typical ABC fire extinguisher. So let me get one here and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. These are your smaller, like two and a half pound extinguishers. There's disposable and there's non-disposable. Uh, let's just go with this one right here, okay? This is a five pound fire extinguisher and it's marked as um, down here, ABC, okay? These are the types of extinguishers that you wanna get because they have a dry chemical powder inside them that helps to suffocate the fire essentially. So the A stands for your trash, wood, paper, stuff like that. Your B stands for your liquids and gases and your C stands for like energized electrical sources. That is why this is the best all around extinguisher that you can have in your house or in your vehicle. Okay, there are special applications, but it's not really an issue with this particular video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is, um, there's a lot of information on here. You have the instructions. I think I'll put a link in the description below about exactly how to use a fire extinguisher. I highly suggest you look at that or teach your kids how to use a fire extinguisher. Um, these are disposable fire extinguishers, which I'll explain here in a few. They're great for training once you can't use them anymore, once they're not deemed reliable, so to speak. And I used to get a bunch of these with work because they have to throw them out after a certain amount of time because of this plastic top here. Um, they're great for training. I taught my girls how to put out a fire. I went out back, got a little, like a 50 gallon drum, lit a fire inside it and showed them how to use this. So I highly suggest you do that. But either way, I'm hoping to maybe put in my uh, description a link for a good source on what I think is a, a great video on how to use a fire extinguisher. So um, I'm gonna leave a lot of that to the video that you watch, but essentially it has your nozzle this is where you squeeze. It has a pin, which is usually held in by a seal, which is strong enough seal to keep the pin in, but also not so strong that when you pull on this, it's not gonna break. And that's what you want. You never wanna tighten this down or you never wanna use anything too strong on this. These little seals are perfect. That's what companies use. Uh, this is the one that came with the fire extinguisher. And uh, great to have just a plastic seal that will pull apart when you pull this pin, that's the key. You don't want this to be too tight where you can't get the pin out, okay? Now, the other thing to keep in mind before I go any further is 
Annual inspections for fire extinguishers are done by a certified individual. So this isn't really anything that you have to do per se. I'm just going to tell you about them so that you can kind of be uh, up your knowledge a little bit. I think it's very applicable to like if you're getting ready to rent an apartment um, to look at the fire extinguishers at the apartment and see some of the things I'm going to explain to you. Because I'll tell you what, if a company is not going to uh, stay up on their fire safety, I wouldn't rent that apartment to save my life. So um, basically what I'm saying is some of this stuff is not really too important for you other than having the knowledge to know that if you find an extinguisher or your dad has one or there's one out in the garage and you want to know if it's any good, I'm going to explain that to you. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of information on fire extinguishers about recharging and maintenance, stuff that you guys don't really need to know. The biggest thing you need to know about fire extinguishers is when they were made or when they were serviced. That's really the most important. Um, the inspection also, but like I said, that's done annually by somebody who is certified. And that's really only applicable to uh, you know, businesses, apartments, people with liabilities. They have to prove that each year They've had somebody come in and do an inspection on a fire extinguisher and put a tag on the fire extinguisher. So this is an example. I'll go over that here in a few minutes. But essentially what you need to know for the random fire extinguisher you find is just a couple basic things. Is it in the green? That just means is it charged? Okay. If it's not in the green, it's not any good. It needs to be recharged. This one's getting close and I think that one's getting close. A better example for a good one would be this one. Straight up in the green is optimum, but anywhere in the green is sufficient. Okay, so is it in the green? If it's not the green, don't trust your life on it. Don't use it. It needs to be either thrown away if it's got a plastic top or recharged and serviced if it's one of these metal top ones. Okay, the other thing that's important to know is when was it made? Fire extinguishers usually tell you in two locations where uh, when they've been made. They'll tell you on the bottom, like the case of this one, which I already saw earlier, which is very old. And sometimes these are very hard to see, but you get it in the light, and this was from 02. Okay? These are good for 12 years. So this thing's a goner. Okay? This one, if you look on the back and you look all around the label, you'll see all this information that's really not important to you as the average person and citizen, but there is going to be a manufacturer date on here, and this one's 2015. Okay? So six years from 2015 is when this fire extinguisher needs its first service, unless it's been used and then it needs service. So if it's in the green and it was made in 2015, you have six years from that date, okay? So anything, if you went out right now and bought a 2018 fire extinguisher, you'd be good to go until 2024 unless it was used and you needed to fill it again. So six years from the date of manufacture before it needs service, okay? So let me see some of these other ones and see if I can show you. This one, here's a good one. Uh, these Kade extinguishers are the most common ones that you find at uh, Home Depot. Uh, it is pronounced Kade. I've called the company before because it was always a big question on how you pronounce that company. But you look on the bottom of this one and let's see if I can get a reflection here. There you go, 2016. Okay, you have six years from 2016 before this needs to be serviced. Okay, now I'm talking about serviced professionally if you're going to utilize these things in a business or if you're wanting to maintain personally your fire extinguishers. You're smarter off to probably just go and buy a new one after six years based on the price than to try to get it serviced because unless you uh, work at a place that's going to get them serviced, it's really not cost effective to uh, service after six years. Okay. Now, that being said, remember, even though this is way out of date, I would bet this will probably work. Okay, they just have to set a standard so that there is continued maintenance on the fire extinguishers. Okay, so even if a fire extinguisher is out of date, I don't know if I would trust my life to it. Um, you could put it in the garage, uh, you could have it as a backup or as an extra because when you pull that pin, I've seen extinguishers that are very old that still work. But generally speaking, if you want to keep it safe and keep it within regulation, you have six years before it needs to be serviced. Okay, hope that makes sense. Okay, let's see what this one says. Here we go, right here. And you just gotta look all over. Sometimes they're down here. Like I said, sometimes they're on the bottom. Okay, in the case of this one, looks like it's right, let's see if we get it, right there. 2012. This one, if you do your math, is due for service. 
So right now, this year, this fire extinguisher should be serviced, okay? Well, how do you know if it's been serviced, okay? Well, when they do a service on a fire extinguisher, they have what's called a six year service and a 12 year service. At the six year service, they take everything apart and they inspect it and uh, just check everything. And then they re refill it and they repressurize it to be green, okay? And then the other service is kind of like a car. You have maintenance every certain amount of years, every certain period of time. Fire extinguishers stay the same for these ABC extinguishers, okay? And that's six years and 12 years. Six years is called a recharge, okay? Or 12 years is called a hydro, okay? And a hydro just means the, basically the same thing every 12 year interval, the same exact thing is, ha uh, is takes place where you take all this apart and you check everything, but they also pressure test this cylinder to make sure that this is still has some integrity to it, okay? These are on trucks and out in the heat and all kinds of different places and businesses and factories. So they pressure test this every 12 years. So six years is a recharge, 12 years is a hydro test, okay? That way you know, okay? So on this one, you know, you have six years from 2015 to do the, the recharge, or after 12 years, they're gonna need to pressure test this cylinder. Okay, how do you know that that's occurred? How do you know if you have an older extinguisher and you come over here, let's give you a better example of one that's done here, okay? A couple of these I'm gonna avoid spinning around because I don't really wanna share the company name of, of where I work, but essentially, this fire extinguisher, I'm gonna take it off the screen here for a second and I'll cover up this tag. This fire extinguisher is from 2006, okay? Right down here, okay? So you know that since 2006, it has needed service, okay? So they do two things when they do service, okay? It's very important. If you work apartment maintenance or you work at a place that does maintenance or you have a place that you work that has tons of fire extinguishers, this is really important to know because some companies out there, unfortunately, kind of scam the customer. And there's two things that need to happen. First of all, I'm gonna get it covered up here, but there's gonna be a tag, a sticker, if you can see my fingers there, there's gonna be a tag and sticker on the back, okay? And it's gonna look like this. And basically what it's gonna tell you and what you're gonna pay attention to is the year, okay, right here. In this case, I circled it for an example. 2018, a six year maintenance was done on the 10th month in October. So October of 2018, six year maintenance was done. So you know that this fire extinguisher has had service. Now, some companies will slap this on the back and consider it done. But the little trick they do to scam people is, it doesn't take anything to take this sticker and throw it on the back of a fire extinguisher. They just grab it and find their nice little spot on the back and put it back here and call it done. How do you prove and how do you know that a fire extinguisher has even been checked, taken apart, or tested? Well, they implemented a second uh, thing here where they put a plastic or non-removable ring on the fire extinguisher, okay? So this is a plastic ring. Now you have to pay attention to this ring and you have to actually feel it and touch it and make sure that it is not cut. Some companies will cut corners and cut these. And the reason they're doing that is it takes time, okay? Time and man hours to recharge these extinguishers. But I can't tell you how many apartment complexes I've gone to where they've only put the sticker on the back and they haven't done this, okay? Or they've put the sticker on the back and they've put this on here after they've cut the ring. Now, if you use your common sense, you can tell that the reason it needs to not be cut is because the only thing that proves that this thing's been taken off and taken apart and there's a long stem that goes down in here the only thing that proves that that's come off is that they've put this ring, okay? This, this ring without any cuts in it, they put this on after they've done the maintenance. And the other way is on this ring, if we can be careful here in the light, you'll see a punch. You'll see two. It goes one through 12 for the months of the year, okay? And then it'll give you a year, okay? So this one was serviced. I'll tell you on the back here without letting you see it. This had a hydro test. It's marked on the back. So the sticker on the back of this one is marked hydro test. The sixth month, if you can see that, the sixth month of 2016. It'll have some years punched there, okay? So I can pick up this fire extinguisher, see the ring, and immediately know that this has been serviced. I know it's a consistent ring, there's no cut in it, and I can correlate this ring with what it says on the back, 
and know that this was serviced recently enough to be a good fire extinguisher as long as it's in the green this is a good working fire extinguisher okay those are the basics your dates and knowing what's there okay so that's the years that's how to know if a fire extinguisher is still considered you know by regulation good okay if this ring would have said more than six years or this ring would have said in 2007 well obviously it would be past due for service so even though there's a ring 2007 tells me when I do the math that that needs service again okay hopefully that makes sense doesn't need to get too complicated but hopefully that makes sense okay if you're at a workplace or at an apartment complex before you ever rent an apartment complex and like I said I'm gonna share this in another video I do here in the future check the fire extinguishers they either have to have them about every 75 feet they'll usually be upstairs between stairways or downstairs by your apartment doors they'll put them right in between the uh, two apartment doors and they'll have a fire extinguisher right in the middle in a box the box may be locked but generally speaking you should be able to read the tag that the fire service technician has hung on this okay and that tag is going to tell you when it was last serviced or inspected I guess is the best way to say it the last time it was inspected okay so up here you see that this says it's an ABC fire extinguisher which is punched that's all you have to be concerned about on this tag for fire extinguishers okay the year is 2016 the month is December it's punched that it's serviced if they would have recharged it they would have probably punched this and said that they recharged it in 2016 but essentially this ABC fire extinguisher was serviced in December of 2016 okay a lot of people misunderstand this tag when you see this big old date that means a year from this month so this extinguisher here would not need service as it says void one year from the month punched okay so that means in December 2017 this fire extinguisher is due for inspection not necessarily service but inspection okay that just helps you guys out there to know what these tags mean uh, it's not really that important to you per se like I said if you get a hold of a fire extinguisher that you want to put in your vehicle or something like that the other stuff I was explaining about the dates and it being in the green is the the key stuff okay fire safety is important guys um, I do foster care and they mandate that you have fire extinguishers on each level of your home um, obviously with my work I've seen it devastate apartments and things like that and so I know the importance of having a fire extinguisher and I think it's a great prep gear item to have especially if you have an off-road vehicle or any vehicle but hey here's another thing two most important things well there's three make sure your fire extinguisher is good go by the things that I just explained to you okay second of all make sure it's accessible I can't tell you how many apartments I've gone into where they've taken this little thing that's been supplied by the apartment complex and then somebody goes down here and they get their cleaning stuff and they and all their stuff and they wedge everything to the back you know and then and then before you know it you have a fire and you can't get down below the counter get this stuff out of the way and try to get to your fire extinguisher okay people consistently block or put their fire extinguishers in a place that you cannot get to and that's going to do you no good okay first thing to assess when you have a fire is can you put it out with a fire extinguisher okay if you look up, up some videos on YouTube you'll see kind of how much fire these will put out um, you know if you catch them at the very beginning they're gonna be probably pretty dang effective in putting out the fire but first thing stay safe make sure that if this fire is obviously something that's not a small uh, fire in your home or in a trash can or something like that get out it's not worth your life it's not worth saying I've got a fire extinguisher in the other room but meanwhile this these flames have started engulfing this whole room you're not gonna put out a whole room with one of these okay you're not gonna put out your engine bay fire with just one of these if it's already engulfed the whole engine bay if it's just started or you've had an issue it's gonna be sufficient hopefully but the key is to have it accessible okay don't hide it don't bury it okay keep it in good shape make sure this pin is in here as soon as this pops out if I pop this pin out and bump this or it rolls the back of my car or I drop a bag of groceries on top of it or something it's gonna set this thing off and I'll tell you what probably two of the messiest things I've ever had to clean up in my life have been um, olive oil when I worked for grocery and fire extinguisher powder okay it's it's really hard to clean up but uh, stay safe out there 
If you have any basic questions, feel free. I don't know that in the comments I need to get into a, a long, long training uh, session, but if you have any basic questions, feel free to ask me. Um, but either way, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew the importance of fire extinguishers. Uh, they do save lives. They're extremely important. And so watch for my video in the future on how to uh, look at uh, fire safety stuff done at your apartment complex to see if it's even a place worth living because uh, I've been to some real doozies. But uh, until next time, guys, stay safe. Okay guys, one little amendment I wanna to make to my video because I realized I forgot to kind of explain it. But if you remember, I told you that fire extinguishers need service every six years for basic inspection and service and every 12 years to test the pressure test the cylinder, okay? Uh, you probably heard me say that these are disposable. And what that means is because this top is plastic, like this is the kind a lot of people buy. It's the kind that's in your apartment complexes a lot of times because they buy them in bulk or it's the inexpensive choice still better than having nothing it's basically your your basic version of a fire extinguisher but what makes it less expensive okay is that it's a plastic top it means this top cannot be removed okay and then put back on it's disposable as soon as this thing gets used it you throw it away or as soon as it's past 12 years throw it away okay or use it for target practice or something like that okay you don't want to use it after 12 years. That's what makes this thing uh, disposable is the plastic top. Now, if you have a metal top one, these can be taken off. These can be taken off. As you see, we talked about the service ring. That's why the metal top fire extinguishers in general, if you look at them and you price them out, are always hey guys, less expensive. Sorry, at this point, I actually meant to say more expensive. Servicing, servicing, metal servicing. top extinguishers like car, are more expensive. Keep, as long as you keep maintaining, 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 showing that you've done the maintenance, these just continue working, okay? I think they go back as far as 1985. I think anything dated before 1985 is is no good anymore. You literally just have to dispose of it, okay? They they say condemn, that's the term they use. They condemn anything from 1985. You have any fire extinguisher from before 1985, throw it away. It's no good, okay? But hopefully that makes more sense as to why I talked about these plastic top ones. Um, after 12 years or after one single use, you gotta chuck them. So, hope that makes sense. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.